guest tonight um, is none other than host of Dater Disaster, um, Wifey the Boss. So I'd like for y'all to put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Wifey the Boss. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Listen, we got so caught up in her show, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not seen it yet, um, I hate that I had never stuck around. That was great. Thank you. Um, she she was trying everyone. to give me cues to like, hey, Godfather, you know, we got to wind it down. I wasn't catching it. And I looked at the time, it was like 9 p.m. Like, oh, my Lord. So if y'all have not checked tell us so. I know you was carried away looking at the chocolate, but we had to go. You had a show to do yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I almost forgot about the whole show on that chocolate up in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what about your show that you have here on today uh, I have a show called Date or Disaster and how it goes is you can bring up to three dates okay you write your own questions you ask them by the end of the show you decide which one two or three is a date or disaster all dates are all disasters uh, I previous when record my shows Godfather's show will be uploaded tonight. It's on my YouTube, Wifey the Boss, the same as it's spelled on here. Uh, if you ever want to sign up for the show, my IG is Wifey the Comedian. Mm -hmm. I also have another IG connected to tag as well. So if you click on my bio, it'll tell you how it goes. Right. Yeah, I got so caught up in getting ready. I And then they were talking about my YouTube channel, and I wasn't even recording at the time. So I was like, hold up, let me get... <laughs> I got caught up in that, so it's uh like I said every every Wednesday at eight p.m. Eastern. What was uh, your inspiration, I guess, behind doing that show? What what made you want to do a I guess date or disaster? Um, now when I asked for the show, I wanted it to be like comedy, but believe it or not, mm -hmm. respectfully, it's still comedy. Okay, and you know I know it's it's stage based. I mean nobody's. Well, I don't know, because Tag is an app where we first came on here. I did to find the love of my life. Um, I found the love for a couple of years. Then, you know, I had to kick it to the curb. But I did actually find someone, but uh, he was a slut. So I let him go, and I just started uh, <laughs> streaming. Um, yeah. And I just kept at that. It just kept me off of him. And the more I streamed, the more I loved it, and... So I got to the top, I guess. I don't know. Shout out to my ex. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shout out to whoever out there. You're in here right now, period. You know, just period, all right? That's right. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. Because that's, you know, she answered a question before I could even ask. I was like, that's what the original reason why you came on Tag It. And that's actually a lot of uh, reasons that people have come across. It's either been to push this, push that. Just like... Uh, you, myself, I came out here to find the you know, next Mrs. Godfather. I didn't, so here I am, a show. Right. I, I did find the love of my life, though, and I found it here on Late Nights with the Godfather. So That's right. Um, and that's the actual show. So I really do enjoy it. So how long now have you been on tag streaming? Streaming three and a half years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the three and a half years that you streamed from when you first hit that live button till now, how do you feel like you evolved? What do you think you've improved on? Uh, tag, don't kill me for this. I've improved on uh, my ladylike skills of not bouncing so much and doing flips in the camera. Uh, back then, Tag didn't have a band button. Uh, if they did, I didn't know about it. And shout out right. to them because I would not be a top streamer at this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back then they didn't have bot bot, so there was right. There That's what I'm saying. Less. A lot of things my bot catches. You know, I you know shout out to you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I know I can remember the days. And, it, you know, I almost feel like, because I've been here now three years, I've been sure about two of those. And so to see the evolution even of the app, 
to see where it came from and where we are now when it comes to content, uh, when it comes to uh, the gifts that they update each week. So there's been definitely been a lot of changes in the time that we've been on here. Um, what are some changes that you would like to see happen here on the app? Um, you know, Godfather, you have me in a hot seat because, you know, wifey kind of speaks her mind, uh, but respectfully. Um, it's so much competition and hate. I would like to mm -hmm. see that change for the most part. Uh, some people, you just have to let them just kind of stay in a bag. You know what I mean, respectfully. But some people you just can't deal with. And it's not about the diamonds. It's about a person's personality, how they treat you, uh, things mm -hmm. like that. So I think we should come more together, not only as top streamers, but the ones that are top streamers, we should be there trying to help the ones that maybe trying to get a badge, want to learn how to stream, or just even mm -hmm. shy as to turn on that button because turning on that button could change your whole life. And I'm not saying in a bad way because I know it changed mine. Because a lot of people don't really know the back end now. I crack jokes a lot, so the X was really a joke. So let me tell y'all a little documentary, but I won't make it too long, right? So um, I retired early because I have a disabled daughter. She's 23. So I work mm -hmm. for the state. Um, but I retired early because they wanted to take her out the home and put her in a home or whatever. Whatever. I, don't, I can't remember because I went crazy. But um, mm -hmm. sure. I lost my job. I had a state job. Lost everything. Um, with family and some friend support, I did bounce back. Then that's when I came back on tag. Found the band, but he doesn't matter. What matters is once I got blessed... I started spending so much money that I was going in debt so bad. I needed another hobby. So that's when I started coming on tag, you know, and I started going live. And that took my mind off of, you know, shopping so much. So I'm almost out of debt, okay? And I've been streaming three and a half years and I'm still in debt, but I'm almost out. That's how much damage I did. I was depressed because of my job, not because of my child, but my job. So, tag has really changed my life in so many good ways. So many good ways. Thank you. That was only a dollar because wifey's very cheap. Uh, but I like to look good for a couple of pennies. For a couple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I do have real. Now, this is real and this is real. But, you know, it don't matter. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm really cheap now. I learned my lesson. <laughs> that you you learn from those uh, things that you have gone through and on you kind of piggybacking off what you're saying and that's the thing too as streamers you never know what someone else is going, is through, going through that's why yeah you know so I, i'm sorry i did not mean to cut yeah. you off i just i don't know it's just emotional it's not emotional but it's just so much i can say about that because yeah. I, at me being a streamer, I've met so many people. And when I tell y'all this, I'm serious. I've met some people, not many, but some people that's been on this app and they're gone. When I say they're gone, they're dead. So let's think about it like this. All streamers in here, if you stream, if somebody comes in your room and we know we have a lot of trolls. Oh, I want to kill myself. I'm about to jump off the bridge. You might go, and I know I'm quick. I don't say it, but I'd be like, oh, just go on and jump. You, you'll be okay. We can't say that because guess what? We might be that one person that can stop them from taking that leap. And the mm -hmm. reason I say that because I know someone who actually did that. They didn't say that on my live, but they said something like that. And I talked to them, but they still did what they did. I'm sorry because I'm a gangster and I'm not emotional. But that just kind of mm -hmm. bothered me because I feel like I felt that person and now they're dead. You understand what I'm saying? But I refuse to cry. But I'm just saying, we have to watch how we treat people and what we say to people because it matters. It does. Yeah. So I, and that's, that's big, big, big facts because a little story, and I've told this before, um, and definitely, it's definitely not your fault, first of all. Let's just get that out of the way. Definitely not. Um, 
I actually had a story I told uh, a while back, um, and it was one of our music right, guests was actually on the show that night. And uh, I was telling a story that was similar to kind of goes along with you never know what people are going through and what you can do to affect people's lives. Well, I got a phone call or a text message the next day. And they told me, they said, well, it was a friend of mine. They said, well, I, I wasn't going to come to your show just because the way she was feeling. She had been through a lot uh, there recently. And but she said, I decided to come in because she wanted to support me and want to support one of the guests that night. And so I, when she when she had first came in, I was telling that story. And uh, when I talked to her the next day, she said uh, she'd been going through a lot, and she literally had the the pistol in her hand. Mm -hmm. And she came into the live, and between her daughter busting in the room and listening to that story, it literally saved her life. Wow. Um, yeah, we we still we still talk to this day. Um, we still have a great friendship. We don't talk a lot, but it's one of those friendships that is pretty much understood. Like we could not talk for months and then pick up two months later, and it's like we never never stop. So again, it's y'all really don't know. And as there's a thing that we talked about, because I actually remember when I first got my top badge. One of the things that yeah, that happens right, a exactly. lot. Pancakes, that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it uh yeah because you really never know what people are going through and you and I, I remember when i first got my top badge i even went into your stream i don't know if you remember this white being yes you came did. into your stream and i requested the box and i said hey y'all you know there's a bad stigma when it comes to and at that time i think it's starting to kind of fade away a little bit um, but there was for a long time there was a bad stigma on top streamers um based off of some that uh in the past you maybe a few here now that just aren't nice for whatever I mean, reason speaking on that i've you know and shout out to the rude top streamers they'll get caught sooner or later but shout out to them because when that happens and they kick them out for not sending them a jet or even a car they get bounced in my life. And I'd be like, well, hello. They were like, I'm glad I'm over here. That's such and such. Kick me out. Top streamers just, they try to belittle us. And I comfort them and let them know I'm very sorry. But, hey, I'm not like that. You're welcome here. If you don't have nothing but an EBT. But I do tell them, it's okay if you, you know, don't have diamonds. But you can watch that free video. Okay, just just watch it every now and then. Let me take the date box down so you can get your, you know, about 100 or 200 coins, and we're going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So no, that's a joke, but I be wanting to say that, but I don't, but, you know. Whatever they got to do. And it's not all about yeah. the gifts all the time. You know what I'm saying? I, I get right. it. I get it. And I think I actually had someone a while back watch enough videos to send, I think, the diamond drop or something mm -hmm. or something like that. So they took, and they were going to other people's lives to, uh, <laughs> I said, I'm down to earth. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, they've actually went around to other people's lives and even told them when they came in, I'm here just to watch the video. Yeah, I know somebody who come did back. that. <laughs> <laughs> they come to my life. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, I gotta say this y'all, cause I don't care what y'all say, everybody got a backup page. Now it don't say wifey the boss, but I do go in somebody who has a lot of people, and I just sit there and watch videos. So when I go around and just give it to certain people, but they don't know it's me. <laughs> we all do it. We all do it. We've all been in those lives. We sat there, we watched the videos, yeah. and just gathered up our little coins like, hee, hee, hee. Have y'all so, ever noticed, um, as being a top streamer, you can't watch videos on your phone? I was just wondering, am I tripping? Am I on the top stream? But you can't watch. They don't let us watch videos. <laughs> I tried it. I get too. I can't even do that. I said, oh, wow. We can't watch free videos. Yeah, I think I've watched. That's a good question. I never. Oh, wow, catch. That's because you're a black VIP. <laughs> See, catch telling. Catch telling us something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I can't either. And I ain't the top. Oh, but yeah, like she said, it's oh, not like, get yeah, down, yeah. then, pancakes, get in now. So, now being a 
uh, top streamer for how long have you been a top streamer now? A couple years now, isn't it? November the fifteenth will make. Can y'all have to excuse me? I am a little old. For the ones that always troll me and call me a grandma, I am 47 and I am a grandma. But I think I got my badge in, oh gosh, what's this, 2021? In 18 or 19? I can't remember. It's been a long time. I know you fucking <laughs> let. No, I ain't like, oh, excuse me. Did that come out? Oh, oh God. It's late night. One or two is okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, we'll blame it on Sagittarius. Hi, Brittany. Queen just Brittany. So, all right. We're going to uh, pause that for a moment. When, uh, we're going to have Queen just Brittany come up here in just a moment. She's going to do a song for us. Okay. Um, and if uh, y'all hang out, we got some more questions for Wifey. I got some more questions. Y'all are open to asking questions here uh, in just a little bit. Um, but as soon as uh, just Brittany, as soon as you are ready, just let me know. And we'll get you up in here. Um, but yeah, this the second half. I want to give y'all up I have some more questions. Okay, y'all know I can ask some questions. That's I just spent right. an hour to like fifteen questions. So I got we should questions just call you Madlock for tonight. Madlock? Are you gonna be Madlock? Madlock, right? No, so, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that's kind of why this fits for me because when I first started doing, I'm a, I'm a very inquisitive uh, person, um, very curious. Um, I don't have any problem with asking people questions and I know how to ask the questions tastefully. Okay. okay. Um, I know how to ask questions, the right questions. You know, some people just, they'll just ask questions like, and just not even be thinking. That would be me. I'm just going to ask you whatever. I mean, I'm, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just how people think that everybody has a different personality. And I think some mm -hmm. people in real life and on this app, they take me the wrong way. Cause they're like, did she really just say that? I'm like, yeah, I really said that. I really, believe that i really you know but i don't mean any harm i'm just nosy as hell okay so when you get a lot right. older and you're a grandma you become nosy because you're always stupid around okay and your kids stuff like my twins are 18 okay y'all they just moved out two days ago when i tell you that i was running down my driveway throwing their stuff in the back of their car and they said mom wait i said no nah, it's time for y'all to go 18 years of hell <laughs> Get out, get out, get out, okay? So they call every day. Can you bring me this? Can you bring me that? You know, so I'm just saying, I'm so happy to have my house back that I probably do flips to drink a whole bottle of wine tonight. And I don't even drink, okay? Thank you for the roses, Matthew. Yes, these children will make you drink. Not drink, but drink, okay? Drink, honey. Okay. And big shout out to everybody in here tonight, all the supporters, all our guests tonight. We got Wifey the Boss right now here in the box. She's our guest tonight on Late Nights with the Godfather every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, yeah, and big high five because, you know, Grandpa right here um, okay. um, with four beautiful grandchildren. I actually got to see them all at once this past weekend. Oh, so cool. It was great. Um, you know, wish I could show you all the I must say this, uh, when you did my show, and you know, I always knew you loved chocolate, and I just wanted you to know that um, I've never dated outside of my race, um, but that vanilla, it looks very good, and not just the hat, just the whole feature, okay, period, period, shout right. out to Godfather, <laughs> okay, because he's a sexy Caucasian Okay, and I'm I'm just thankful to have a sexy Caucasian man that we can look at on this app because you know we're mostly African Americans here, so it's nice to see some nice white chocolate. And well, I'm in, thank you. trust me, I'm in I'm in heaven in here. Okay, we so thank you so heaven. much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do, Razor. Yeah. Okay, I got a question for you. Cause we wait now when when you're ready, Brittany. Let me know. So, do you listen to the blues? I don't make it a point to listen to them, but I would I would definitely listen to them. So okay. I listen mostly to like R and B, uh, especially the old R and B. Well, nineties R and B is the that definitely go to. So I'm just saying at this point, I think you should listen to the blues because we're both a little older. Not putting you out there like you old as me. But I think you would look so good on your live stream. This is a little blues, little Calvin Richardson 
Sir Charles, TK Soul. I mean, you know, that was just, when y'all ladies love that? The older lady? Yes, look at Sagittarius. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Salute, Jamila. But yes, that would be great. Check him out, though. You might like okay. it if you haven't. Uh-oh, Trina don't like that. Go on, four, five. See, Jamila know what it is. Four, Jamila know what See, it is. See, I haven't, you know, I didn't thought about that. So, I might have to hit up Wifey with her. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put it in your inbox playlist. for real. Watch. Watch how them ladies going to be coming <laughs> in here dancing in the comments. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and we were just talking about this a little bit ago, too, um, when we were on, on your show, is music can really set the tone. Um whether you're by yourself or you're with some friends or you're with a significant other, um, that it can set the tone on how you feel in the day. What, you know, and not all blues, a lot of times, I think the reason why I probably haven't listened to as much blues music is because of the, what it says, blues. Gotcha. So I think of blues music, I think the da 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 da. No, it's not like that. It's new and improved. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So. That's it really is. that's what I be thinking of, you know. No, no, no. I don't know if you remember remember the comedian. I think it was on a Living Color. He uh, he was doing that blues guy. Uh, I think it was uh, David David Allen Greer. Yeah. He used to do the blues guy. Da, 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 da. My yeah. life really sucks. Da, 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 da. You know all that stuff. So <laughs> no, it's thing. better. I promise you. Oh, it's good. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. don't listen. If it has the if it has the da 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 da, don't listen to it. Guys. Right, but you know, as far as it goes with the music. This is for everyone in here. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. It's some days where I have to have a certain type of music for the certain mood that I am to be able to stream the way I want to stream. Mm -hmm. So sometimes right. I'm on my Jacquees, okay, because I love Jacquees, and don't nobody say nothing bad about Jacquees, okay? Because he's still everybody <laughs> music. We get it. But then I like a little rap. Then I like a little R&B, and I play blues every Sunday on my live. Like, the blues really gets me country well i'm country but not country music now that would be a little too much for me but uh okay britney's ready okay oh you country i'm country too i'm down south too okay we got the mississippi mud on our boots okay <laughs> but i think britney's ready okay well if you uh box down we're gonna get you to come back up here in just a moment once okay. she gets finished with her performance um and y'all make sure y'all come if y'all have some questions I know I got some more Dirty South style. So, uh, Brittany, just Brittany, Queen, just Brittany, I apologize. When you are ready, uh, go ahead and request that box. So I'd love for y'all to welcome my next guest. Y'all have known her and seen her. Uh, she's definitely super talented. Well, okay. Yeah. Brittany, work on my neck. Bitch, I ain't one of the best. Walking out looks like a check. I wanna check. Soon as I walk in the club, these niggas be breaking their neck. Ass fat, look at that. I wanna check if these niggas are flex. I am the baddest bitch you ever met. When I walk in, they be breaking their neck. I'm a little bad bitch. I'm a little bad bitch. It is not nothing about me that is average. You bitches just. I tell y'all, little bitches, that I am the best. I got a brick on my neck. That money be getting me wet. I wanna check. Soon as I come through the set, them niggas be breaking their neck. Yeah. Yo, love. Nigga ain't got enough money in a piggy bank. My credit ain't on the picky ring. I only suck rich nigga bigger lane. Check race, let's race. Ride a nigga face to his neck break. Big big get some a necklace. Bitch look like she wearing in the neck brace. Hard top on in the H tie. Drop top off in the A tie. And now nigga gon' check me. I'm the side of bitch I stay there. Hey now, lay down. Let me ride that thing like a great high. Let me show you how a real bitch shit is. What's up, Ted? Me tell you one of the best. Walking out look like a check. I want to check. So let's start walking the club. These niggas be breaking their neck. Ass. Look at that. I want to check because these niggas are flex. When I walk in, I be breaking their neck. I'm a little bad bitch. I'm a little bad bitch. It is not nothing about me that is average. Hey. I got a brick on my neck. That money be getting me wet. I want to check. So let's start coming through the set. Hold on. These little bitty bitches can't stop me, I rap for a hobby, my buddy, your party, pull up in this party, I'm wretched as party, you cannot come up, I'll meet you in a, my niggas got bodies on top of bodies, I can send a hitter if you ever try me, I can send a bitch to get the Whitney Bobby play with some chickens, I would cook them, yeah, ho, all of my diamonds is real, I get that money for real, I like to get what I want, so you gotta pay all my bills, you ain't never met a little bitch like me, take five, take a little bitch like me, I ain't never get no college degree, 
A brick of a neck, bitch, I ain't one of the best. Walking out, look like a check. I want a check. Soon as I walk in the club, these niggas be breaking their necks. Hey, hey, look at that. I want to check if these niggas are flex. I am the baddest bitch you ever met. When I walk in, they be breaking their neck. I'm a little bad. I'm a little bad. I tell y'all the bitches that I am the best. I got a brick on my neck. That money be getting me wet. I want a check. Soon as I come through the set. And that's all. Period. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you, God, for you know what I'm saying. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Hey, Queen Just Brittany, the Gemini and me is out on all platforms. Go download it, go stream it, and go watch the brand new video. That was definitely wow. My reaction when you got on was like, whoa, she just came out on fire. Holy smokes. Yeah, y'all make sure definitely make sure to check her out on all platforms. She to the fact that she took time out of her busy schedule. I know I, I keep eye on her on, on Instagram, everything she's been having going on, everything that she's been doing to take that time. Uh, definitely appreciate she taking the time to be uh, performing on the show. Take the time that everybody took to be on here. She said, pick that money up. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Thank you. Right. Y'all make sure that you check out all platforms. Stream her music. Stream her music. Bump it in your cars. Bump it at home. I'll be on later tag tonight. So y'all come see me. Come to my stream and check me out. Thank you, God, brother. Thank you. Wow. So, whew, Lord have mercy. My reaction, I think, when she... So, wifey, whenever you uh, are ready to box back up, the ladies tonight, the... the uh, performances we had some Whitney Houston now we had Queen Jess Brittany yeah I'm over here I got this fan on me and it's like right I don't have any water I, I didn't my heart didn't just stop right exactly um I don't think I'm gonna be okay so let's get wifey back up in here uh, I think my upper lip is sweating and stuff really bad shout so. out to Queen Brittany okay that was lit I know uh you know I'm I'm a little oh I'm sure you're not uh, you know, just focus on me. Okay, we got to get back. You know, <laughs> I had to get myself together right quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, it would be like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, hey, it was the facial expression for me of I was, mine. I know I was looking at you, and you know I'm screen recording. <laughs> I know, so am I. So I got to go back and watch that one because it caught me completely off guard. I've never, that is a true performance and a true. Uh, um, we've got some great, right, white baby. <laughs> it's been some talent tonight, y'all, with a big baby prona. I'm sorry, prona. I keep wanting to pronounce her that way. <laughs> some great, great talented musicians tonight. Um, if y'all are just getting in here, if you're just getting in here, you're late. But that's okay. You know, some people have other things going on. But this is Late Nights with the Godfather. It's every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Tonight we have our special guest, uh, Wife of the Boss. Uh, she's the host of date or disaster right here on tag and that's every wednesday night 8 p.m eastern so um i know i said i, I do have some more questions too and we i was going to kind of allude to this uh right prior to the performance but so you know being a top streamer here for over two years what are some advice that you would give other streamers in order to achieve because it, it seems like the trends kind of change or it seems like they've changed over the years of what people feel like but what's some of the best practices, things that you would uh, give people that want to be a top streamer? Um, keep a positive attitude because there's a lot that goes on on this app in good ways and bad ways. The people, right. not the app itself. But stay in your own lane. Never try to be in competition with the next person. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I look at it because... Um, it's a lot of things on here that I see that it's none of my business. I don't speak on it, but I see it because I'm nosy. But um, I just stay in my own little in my own little lane. I mean, I do support other people, but I'm, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna go bring my neck just to try to be in front of somebody or something like that. I just don't. It don't make sense to me. Right. I mean, just a lot of times I've told people too, just be yourself. You know, um, don't try That's to it. if. Some some can pull it off. Some can be this certain persona on tag and then be something completely different off of here. Um, but that's just too much switching up for me. Hey, <laughs> not too many personalities. 
Right, that's too many personalities. I mean, it's bad enough that I got to deal with, but, you know, children, grandchildren, you know, ex-wife. Right now, know. mine just my twins, okay? They're driving me crazy. But, yeah, just be well, yourself. I just be yourself. People are going to love you. People are going to hate you. But either way it goes, you still be the best that you can be at whatever you are. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. I mean, because like I've told, I had somebody come in my stream a little earlier and they were asking, kind of picking my brain about different things. And I was like, listen, the people that are supposed to be there are going to be there. The ones that aren't, just aren't. There and you, you just go. have to accept the fact that who you think you might want in there might not be the one that's supposed to be there. It's the ones that have shown up each and every episode, each time that you hit that live button or each time that you, you know, are in someone's live and, it's those that are going to continue. The people that come support, like the so people that come support, when you go to different shows, that's what, you know, when you don't stream, but you are on somebody else's show, and then all those people come and follow you, mm -hmm. come on now. Yeah, that's it means just, a lot. Know. It means a lot. And I got a, a lot of people that don't stream, but every time I hit the live button, they're right there. And it's not like I say, mm -hmm. it's not all the, way, all the way, it's about the diamonds. It's about just the consistency for me. They're always there. So that means a lot as a streamer, whether you're a top streamer or just a streamer. When you see that same person all the time, it makes you want to yeah. keep pushing, even if you have a desire to give up. You know what I mean? We all have lives outside of tag, of course. But sometimes you might be feeling like, well, I'm not going live today. I just don't feel like it. Then you get that inbox. Wifey, where you at? It just makes you want to just... Oh, let me get myself together. They're, they're looking for me. So I love that. I think I'm a little spoiled. You know, so it's like, oh, they're calling for me. Let me go and go live, you know? <laughs> like, wifey, wifey. Okay. Yeah, that, that, when, when you have those people that just consistently come in, as soon as you hit the live button within minutes. Um, uh, pancakes is every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. If you want to sign up, uh, my IG is Wifey the Comedian, but like I say, for all you in here, if you go check out my shows, previous shows, you can kind of see how the show goes. Godfather show will be uploaded tonight, so you can see it. But it's actually fun. I enjoy it. Shout out to Tag for even giving me a chance to do it, because I really love it. Even though I have to sit there and act like, but I be dying laughing on the inside, because some of those shows get very hilarious. <laughs> right. And... Just, just a little word to everybody. Know what I'm glad you explained for people because what I did is I said, yeah, I'll do it, and and never really understood the complete concept. So I actually had to message wifey like, hey, wait a minute, let me make sure I understand. I drew what's... it on. I drew it on. I'm sorry, Godfather, because everybody keep asking me that. It's oh. just, it's just eyeliner. It comes off. Trust me, I'm too old for tattoos on my face. I'm not Lil Wayne's sister. <laughs> I you know I I saw that earlier and I was like, oh look at wifey with the little tap. I just did eyes. it for my show. It shows love. We gotta bring right. more love to the app. Yeah, it's the you can take me creativity. serious, Alpha. You can take me serious. I'm a, I'm a grown woman with a lot of bills, so you can take me serious. It's mm. a, it's a grown a woman. Now wifey can have a smart mouth, so you better you calm down. <laughs> right so you know we all as a top streamer right <laughs> as a top streamer we have a uh, we have a platform um that they've afforded us um some use it for good you know some use it for things that maybe not so good right what do you feel like um you use your platform as a top streamer here on tag say that again godfather i'm sorry so we each have a platform here on Tag. How do you, how would you like to, or how do you use your platform as a top streamer here on Tag? Uh, I use it mostly for comedy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and the date box is my favorite. If they took the date box, I would cry for two days. Okay, I just want y'all to know that. Because it's hilarious. Some of the things that get in my box, uh, actually, if you go on my YouTube channel, I have a little clip of somebody's grandfather. Now, I am a grandmother, so we're going to say great-grandfather. And he got up there, and he had this big old hat on, 
And he was just dancing away. It's like he didn't even know he was there. And I was looking like, oh, my God. But it was so funny. That's the type of stuff that I like. You know what I'm saying? It was so okay. funny. Yeah, he was great grand. He wasn't granddad. He was great grand. But it's so funny. So, like, it was our father's father's father. Father, yeah. Like it was something like, yeah, you know, he went way back. But it was cute. You know, I like the good side, the comedy side. I like to laugh. You know, because mm -hmm. I don't know who wants to admit it. But it's we're in the times now with this pandemic where it's right. hard. And I suffer depression. Not ashamed to tell anybody. So me hitting that button and going live on tag, it just takes so much. It puts so much energy in me because I don't want to yes. think about people dying. I've had five family members die of COVID. You understand what I'm saying? I have mm -hmm. three siblings die in 90 days. The first, the last two was two weeks apart. So I've been dealing with a lot. So going live is the only thing I know when I'm not in my bed crying because I do cry. Okay. Don't think I don't. It's a hurting feeling, but um, it is what it is. And thank you. But for the most part, that's what gets me through. You know, honestly, without tag, I don't know what I would do. I don't. Because that's what's brought me so far. I mean, yeah, because I suffer with anxiety. I have um, that very bad. And so it's, I've had it to the point to where I didn't even, I called in for work. It's been so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but to get on here sometimes, like tonight, like today was just especially, I had a lot of things going on. Sometimes I get, I get overwhelmed. And I think that's where a lot of the anxiety comes in. So then to be able to be part of your show, I was some of it was actually because I was going to be on your show because I didn't know what to expect. But as I got going through it, I was like, this was great. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I had my show. I had some other things that I had going on um, somewhere else. And then just life. And sometimes it just kind of worked. But then when I can come in here and talk to y'all, and then when I have great guests and, uh, like wifey and our musical talent tonight, musical guest tonight, which yes. is Brittany and, and Big Baby Prana. Uh, it's it's a relief. Like all those things that I had that I was worried about, I'm not right now because it. Casper said it right there. It's a great show. Yeah, I think with anxiety, we worry too much. And it causes right. us to go on anxiety. You know, because I'm not going to lie, when my show dated disaster, some Wednesdays I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some Wednesdays I'm like, who I think I can do this. I think I can do this. You know, and it's weird because I know I can do it. It's like, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? So you have to <laughs> kind of control the anxiety. Don't let the anxiety control you. So, you know, right. becoming a streamer on tag has helped me with my anxiety. I do have a therapist mm -hmm. and I even talked to them about it. And they was like, well, you can do the camera. I'm like, yes. And actually... When I see all these people, I get excited and my anxiety goes up, but then I have fun. It calms me down, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Could I? Okay. Yes. Oh, all pancakes. I'm waiting on that one. And that's another thing. I, let me talk about this right quick. Wifey does okay. not discriminate. I don't care what you are. T S B S L L L Q B Y Z. Okay. But um, mm -hmm. that's a one show that I really want to promote. I want to do the LGBT, or how you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, excuse me. It could be mm -hmm. ABC, one, two, three, but you get it, okay? The okay. rainbows. I want all, you know, the guys, the women, you know, I, mm -hmm. they're somebody too. And that's another thing. I don't like when people come in my live and they might see a rainbow and they want to start attacking that person. Who are we to judge? We don't judge people. Exactly. We're not here for that, okay? So let people be who they want to be. Because you never know. Wifey could be a freak. Who knows? But I will tell you that I am. Okay. But I'm just saying, that's my business. <laughs> but I don't, you know, advertise it on tag. Well, I, mean, well, I just did. But, you know, you know what I mean? Let, let people be whoever they want to be. Thank you. Right. You just did on a featured show. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> I didn't say a curse word. <laughs> <laughs> No, nobody didn't um, give me the so rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody just started spamming rainbows. Yeah, oh the my rainbow God. cards would be spamming oh my rainbows. God. 
yeah. yeah, because yeah, definitely. I mean, I and I'm not, I'm the same way. Like I could care less what. I think you pretty much. I, I can't even add to it right. what she said because I don't care what what you like or what you don't like or what you love. You know, that's that's you. If you if that's what you love, I love you for it. Right. Um, because that's what's that's what makes us people is that we're different and because of our differences then that makes it us unique and makes world it makes the world just more interesting because if everybody was the same i mean how boring would that be that would be very boring yeah yeah, yeah. so i mean what could well, i mean i don't know just anyway that's all another show right there y'all so um this is one of my very favorite questions um i've been asking it and for y'all this is like of shows period this is almost 50 plus shows that i've been doing on this app and i never get tired of this particular question um who is your hero or heroes and why in real life mm-hmm. are my children the reason i'm saying that is because i came I had a very good childhood. Um, I, I just to say, I just end up doing bad things. So my children had to experience a gangster mom, but uh, I actually mm-hmm. have a daughter in law school. Okay, I uh, have a son has his own business. Um, my twins, they all over the place right now. I'm mad at them. But what I'm saying is, you would think the type of gangster mom that I was that my kids would be dead or in jail or selling drugs but it turned out that they didn't want to be like me they wanted to be better so I salute myself for that and I'm going to go ahead and put it out there right here on your feature show I have eight children eight 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 and a lot of people have tried to downplay me or talk about me on this app because of it but how many of mm. if people have eight children and can say that they're successful in life? So that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how many you have. It just matters. It really, I mean, whatever. No jail, right? No jail and they're alive. So I I think I did pretty good. No, you definitely did. There you go. Yeah, graduation. Yes. I had two walked at the same time, twice. The twins and then my 22-year-old, my 21-year-old. So, and I screamed like crazy. And the person next to me said, ma'am, could you stop screaming? And I looked at that man and said, you don't know what I've been through. They're getting out of my house, sir. And I started screaming again. He was so mad at me. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. It's like I was like, make sure you hold your applause to the end, please. Make sure you hold your applause. And then there's always, well, it's usually more than one. I can't help it. I screamed. I shouted. I think I even spoke in tongues. When they called their names, like, whoa, it's over. Goodbye. They was getting out of my house, you know, that type of thing. So. She's over doing the Holy Ghost dance. and uh, I really did. Right. I seriously, literally did. Yeah, because they worked right. my nerves. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I have my... They was racing. He stays with me, so I, he's still with me, plus my grandson. And it's, it's I love them all. Don't get me wrong. Holy smokes. It's a yeah. whole different uh, Yeah, we got us a job. We got us a job as grandparents. And the, and the job stuff. doesn't end when they get older, so. <laughs> right, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Man, I screamed that one late. That's not important on the cast. <laughs> I'm telling you. For real. For real. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I mean. <laughs> I oh, don't. wow. I do want to bring this up because I know our time is winding uh, up. But um, I don't know if y'all know her. Her name is B. Simone. She's a top. Mm -hmm. No, she's not a top. Well, I don't know why I think so. She has a great show on parenthood. But I have been to her Mm -hmm. show a few times. And I'm just touched because she's so young. But let's just say it's not like she got it together. But it's amazing. I think for all the young ladies... Or even me, I learned stuff in there. But if you haven't checked mm-hmm. out her show, go check it out. It's very, very, I mean, it touched my heart. I even cried. Yeah, so she has a, a good fact, show. 
it's right now. So as soon as we get done here, y'all can oh, check her it out. Oh, is it? Oh. See, I can't keep yep. up with the I've been moving around the app so much, but yeah. <laughs> I think I stopped by. Well, it's definitely been a, a pleasure. We're going to have Big Baby do one more song here. She's going to close this I'm out. I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, nice so, to meet everyone. Um, Listen, Godfather's going to be like, wifey, you just in here really cutting me off. If you want to be on the show, you can sign up. Click my bio. It's I got two different tag IGs. Check out my YouTube, Wifey the Boss, the same as it's spelled on here, okay? Let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, okay? And I will be seeing you guys in the future. Thank you, Godfather, for having me featured on your show. It was a pleasure. Yes, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you. EBW Security, right? <laughs> um, while we're waiting for her to come up, um, a couple things, too. Like, like she said, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have Date or Disaster. Follow right behind that is... Uh, nine o'clock late nights with the godfather uh right after that there's actually a couple shows that you can check out we have one feature show uh which is parenthood you can also check out i candy wednesday with calypso the lioness one last thing one plug also every sunday at 7 p.m i do co-host a show called uh lasting love uh, lasting love is in calypso the lioness's live i co-host and it's a show about relationships. We all want that long-term relationship. Well, with our 30 plus years of experience, we feel like we have what we can kind of give some advice because we've been doing it for a while. Now. So make sure y'all check that out. Um, so I'd love y'all to welcome again, uh, Miss Big Baby Prana. Hi. Is she gonna blow? Blow us away again. I, I, I got that feeling. Uh, like I need to get a drink or something because I know I'm about to be just completely blown away. So what is the what is the song that you are going to perform for us next? Or as a matter of fact, probably woo the draws off of some of these guys in here. So <laughs> all I was going to sing is um, Can We Talk? Okay. You guys by Ted and Campbell. So, I was just listening to that today, too. Really? Okay. Look, no, I like the oh, Tevin Campbell. Y'all know. Y'all know. Come on, y'all know. So. Don't. Okay, I gotta tap the comments. <laughs> so, right. so whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. Can y'all hear it too loud? Too loud. All right. Do a little two step if y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm white and I don't have any rhythm, but I'll try. It's okay. You got it. <laughs> Last night I, I saw you standing and I started, started pretending I knew you and you knew me too. And just like a Rome, you were too shy. But you weren't the only person, so was I. And I dreamed of you ever since. Now I build up my confidence. And that next time you come my way, I'll know. And to write you letters, but I want it to be more clever. I want it to get down and sweet talk you. Hey, baby, but just like a baby, I could not talk. And I tried to come closer, but could not walk. And I think of it every night. 
how I just could not get it right now. Oh, if we ever come close again, I know what I'll say. Be yeah, can we talk for a minute, girl? I Look, I fucked up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Oh, please. Give me just one more chance for love, 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 love. For a minute, girl, I want to know your name. Can we Girl, I want to know your name. And baby, 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 come on, talk to me, baby. Come on and talk to me, baby. See, I want to know. You better tell me your name, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm <laughs> Hey, it's the, I fucked up, y'all. And then she's like, right back into it, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. So we had a little comedy. She had to throw a little of the comedy in there in the middle of the song. Okay, you know, getting wooed just as we're getting wooed a little bit. Then also throw a little comedy in and go. And hey, she went right back into the song. Like, not missing a beat. Like, like she dropped the mic, picked it up. Okay, let's keep going. So, <laughs> big, big, big shout out to Big Baby. Definitely appreciate. Like, uh, uh, Pancakes was saying, where have you been hiding with that talent? Okay. You know, oh, that's in the tank. This is just after you know no on Gorilla takes you just like wait a minute. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so if y'all have not hit her up with that fave, and make sure you tap tap in. Uh right, exactly. As a matter of fact, um with the music I guess we do like to have follow up so that maybe in the future, a few months down the road, I want you to come back and hear it again, see where you got from there. <laughs> I got to take. I got to in my tagments. <laughs> so what I'd like to do, especially with the music I guess, is have them come back at a later date. We want to hear how your progress has came. Um, if it progresses from that right there, holy smokes, that was. And see, she threw a little comedy, and I think she did that on purpose. You know, she's like, you know, I'm gonna put a little funny in here, and then you know, just right. She just kind of said, I'm gonna throw a little funny in here, uh, but our time is about up. I definitely appreciate you, big baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you God, for the opportunity. Absolutely. We're going to have, she's coming back, I'll tell you. So, we joke is right. <laughs> hey, that is the show, y'all. I definitely appreciate it. Um, shout